Hello and welcome. My name is Aaron and I'm a part of the WebEx developer evangelism team. Today I'm excited to show you guys about a new addition to the WebEx REST APIs. Um, so without further ado, let's jump right in. So as you can see, I'm here on developer.webex.com and unlike normal, I'm signed in with a special account um, that's set up as a compliance officer. So today's video is about the new compliance officer webhooks that have been added to the WebEx REST API. Um, so let's take a look here at the documentation and I'll show you exactly how we can create a web, uh, excuse me, a webhook for the compliance officers in our organization. So we're gonna scroll down here and find meetings. And then under meetings, we'll see webhooks. So currently, um, WebEx REST API only supports web, uh, web hooks. I think I'm going to mess that up this whole video. Bear with me. We currently only support web hooks for the recording resources. Uh, we do plan on adding more resources to that in the future. Um, for now, we can take a look at the most basic operation um, that will list the web hooks that your organization has if you add that org, owned by org, um, then it'll list all that your organization has. So it's currently none. I actually just deleted them. So we're going to go and let's see what it return without that. The same. Okay. So let's take a look at how to create a webhook. Um, so all we'll need is a name for the webhook. I'm going to call it new recording created. And then we'll need a target URL. So this is the URL that WebEx will send a post request to um, as soon as it finishes generating the recording. Um, so you'll want to have something on this URL set up to notify you. For testing purposes, I've got just webhook.site here. So I'm going to give it that. All right, and then resources. Here's where you specify which specific resource you are setting up this webhook to watch. And the event we want is on created. So you can also do on deleted, on updated, um, etc. And I'm going to go ahead and send that. And let's see what we get back in response. Let's accept these cookies. Awesome. So we get a 200. Okay. We get the ID for our webhook. Let's take that. Um, and then we also get the name of the webhook, the URL it's going to hit, and some more information about it. So let's jump over to the next operation, get webhook details here. Okay. So what this is looking for is the webhook's ID. So I'll pass that in and go ahead and run. And there we go. It's going to give us back this same information. So uh, just to explain the significance of this um, without actually showing it, because it will take a few minutes, the way that a webhook like this can be used um, is, let's say, the compliance officer at your organization is going to have to review the recordings from your organization. Um, so instead of waiting around all day until each one of those recordings comes in, you would create this webhook and then you would have something set up on that URL to actually alert you um, when the recording is created for you to finish doing your job. So let's just show the update operation really quick here. So we're going to change it. We're going to make it new. Now it's new organization recording created. We'll give it that same URL. Oops, that's not the URL. That's the webhook ID. Let's put that there. And I'll take this URL and paste it here. Now make sure to check out developer.webex.com to see exactly how to use the rest of these parameters here. Um, you can get very fancy with these webhooks if you so choose. Awesome, so now it's updated that. Um, looks like we've still got the same ID, so that's great. 
Um, let's go ahead and delete this same webhook just to have a clean slate. And all we've got to do for that is to pass in, oh gosh. <laughs> well, now, now you're going to have to come with me to hunt down this ID really quick because I still have that URL pasted. So we don't want the, all the organization's webhooks. We just want my webhook. So we'll run it without that org flag. And then we'll get this ID. And we'll put that right there. Awesome. So now we get that 204 successful request, request without body content. So that is awesome. So make sure you check out developer.webex.com um, to get more information about this. And you can also um, stay tuned for what else we've got coming as far as webhooks um, by checking out our community forums um, and also our Twitter at WebexDevs. All right, developers, until next time.